live from Midtown Manhattan, the Cube's live coverage of Big Data NYC, a Silicon Angle Wikibon production, made possible by Hortonworks, We Do Hadoop, and Wham Disco, Hadoop Made Invincible. And now your co-hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, we're back here live in New York City for Big Data NYC. We're covering Big Data Week, Strata Conference, Hadoop World. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. This is our news break. This is brought to you by Hortonworks and Windisco. Thank you guys very much for your underwriting and support for our independent editorial. We are outside at, across the street from the Hilton at the Warwick Hotel, live in New York City. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante, and Jeff Kelly. Let's get right into the news. Guys, a lot of big news happening here at the event, Big Data NYC. Let's go into it, Jeff. What's the big news at Big Data well, NYC? As you say, John, there's a lot of announcements, uh, many announcements, uh, as there often are at, uh, at the show, at Strata. Uh, so, I guess the biggest announcement this morning, anyway, was Cloudera announcing uh, the, uh, version five of uh, CDH, their Hadoop platform. Uh, earlier uh, last week, actually, we saw Hortonworks make a similar announcement around HDP 2.0, the Hortonworks data platform, uh, their Hadoop uh, platform and framework. Uh, so we're also seeing stories around, certainly around the uh, the idea of bringing analytics and BI to more users um, as it, as it relates to big data. So we're seeing announcements from Platfora, SciSense. Um, clear story data, uh, basically kind of launching uh, this week. Uh, we're seeing other uh, news from Revolution Analytics, uh, which is interesting, talking about uh, bringing R to uh, Hadoop and big data. Uh, you know, Revolution, or I should say R, really not designed to scale, so that's one of the challenges they're trying to overcome. Similarly, their uh, uh, SaaS, uh, their competitor doing the same. And then, of course, we've got an announcement from Pivotal, uh, announcing some partnerships with actually some competitors, which we've seen Pivotal do a few times now. Uh, they've announced partnerships with Hortonworks and Cloudera. You know, Abi Mehta was on earlier, we were talking to Abi about, he was saying as an app developer, I've done all that. I, I don't need those platforms. I don't need to b develop on top of all these horizontal platforms, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Now, a lot of people do. A lot of people don't have the, maybe the skill sets needed to do that. But right, well I think if, you, if you've got the, uh, the skills and the team that, you, that they've got over at Trusada and, and Abby's expertise, um, you know, he doesn't need that. But I think that there, is a, there is a need to bring um, self-service style analytics and business intelligence on top of big data platforms to the enterprise. But he's right, I mean it's a horizontal platform and it still needs some focus if you really want to get value out of something like that. But it's a big, it's a big reason why there are no big data apps, right? I mean there are, hmm. I said no, but there, there aren't as many as many thought there were going to be. Now talk about the Pivotal uh, news. They, hmm. they, they, uh, you're talking about the ecosystem, I know they had an announcement as well with Hortonworks and Cloudera, because mm -hmm. they're not c competitors, Hortonworks and Cloudera, <laughs> um, around spring. So right. talk about Pivotal, what, what you're seeing there, I mean they had a big event last night, uh, essentially, you got, you know, using the EMC and, and VMware largesse to bring in, you know, financial clients. They've got relationships that they can leverage. Mm -hmm. Although the, uh, my understanding was there's no EMC branding last night. It was all pivotal. It was all pivotal, but I think you can you can clearly see the influence of EMC uh, bringing in those relationships. As you say, EMC's got relationships with all the big Wall Street firms. Uh, you know, all the big retailers, all the big banks, uh, and clearly they're going to leverage that, uh, those relationships uh, to basically turn people on to Pivotal. Um, but the other thing with Pivotal that I think is critical to their success is really remaining uh, open to the ecosystem. Um, they've taken some knocks for not being, uh, at least on the Hadoop side, 100% uh, open source. But the reality is uh, to do what Pivotal wants to do, to build this platform as a service for big data applications, you've got to be open to different uh, to, to competitors. And to their credit, they've done deals with IBM uh, and SoftLayer. Now we see Cloudera and Horton work. So they're true to their word so far. Um, I like what I see out of Pivotal. They are moving in the right direction. Awesome. Jeff Kelly, thanks for coming in. Uh, we're here live. We're at the Warwick Hotel right across the street from the Hilton, right on 6th Ave. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back with our next guest. <laughs>